Let us pray. God of all creation, all you have made is good, and your love endures forever. You bring forth bread from the earth and fruit from the vine. Nourish us with these gifts, that we might be for the world signs of your gracious presence in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also, and also with you. you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. And it is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, Almighty and Merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ, fulfilling the promise of the resurrection, you pour out the fire of your Spirit, uniting in one body, people of every nation and tongue, and so with Mary Magdalene and Peter and all the witnesses of the resurrection, with earth and sea and all their creatures, and with angels and archangels, cherubim and seraphim, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Thanks, Father, through Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, whom you sent in this end of the ages to save and redeem us and to proclaim to us your will. He is your work, inseparable from you, through whom you created all things and in whom you take delight. He is your word sent from heaven to a virgin's womb. He there took on our nature and our lot and was shown forth as your Son, born of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary. He, our Lord Jesus, fulfilled all your will and won for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands in suffering in order to free from suffering those who trust you. He is the one who handed over to a death he freely accepted in order to destroy him, to break the bonds of the evil one, to crush hell underfoot, to give light to the righteous, to establish his covenant, to show forth the resurrection taking bread and giving thanks to you. He said, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. You may consume the bread. In the same way he took the cup, gave thanks and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Won't you consume the cup? Remembering then his death and resurrection, we take this bread and cup giving you thanks that you have made us worthy to stand before you and serve as your priestly people. Send your spirit upon these gifts of your church. Gather into one all who share this bread and wine. Fill us with your Holy Spirit to establish our, our faith in truth, that we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through whom all glory and honor are yours, Almighty Father with the Holy Spirit, in your holy church, both now and forever. Amen. We've been doing the Lord's Prayer a little differently during the pandemic. Um, I've, I've taught you how to do it with hand motions, and I stand out there and do it, and so far nobody's left. So um, anybody who wants to do the Lord's Prayer with me, stand up, let's do it.
Taste and see that the Lord is good. God, I present these persons as representatives of Holy Cross and of our endowment fund. I ask you to stand as I call your name. Karen Halverson, Eric Nyquist, all right, somebody stand for Eric. <laughs> Peggy Sell, Lorraine Odell, and Steve Tweet, chair. And I'm talking to you committee members now. We thank you for your service and for your focus on the ministry of Holy Cross as a light of encouragement for those seeking higher education. We thank you for your diligence, persistence, and vision through the years. Let us pray. Precious God, thank you for your spirit of encouragement and vision so present in each of these individuals, as well as in each person who donated to the endowment fund. Focused on your spirit's light in the lives and educational pursuits of our future. Thank you for the blessing of being involved in this process. Amen. How about a little applause for those guys? Thank you. You may be seated. Steve, I need you up here, though. Steve and Reba's going to help you. Reba said he, she would help me. Thank you so much. There you go. All right, so your job, if you choose to accept it, is to, uh, the two of you are to take a bouquet and add it to each of the of the individuals when I call their name, okay? I'm going to talk a little bit first, though, so get ready. <laughs> I present the following individuals who, through their own initiative and spirit of hope, applied for and have received scholarships from the Holy Cross Endowment Fund. If I call the name and the person isn't here, a family member is, is stuck with coming up here and looking happy. All right? Are we ready for that? Here we go. They are Caleb Sell. Yeah, let's talk. Caleb Sell. 
little, we're going to make a little arc, so you have to stand up here a while. Here we go. Next is Caleb Strew. I know Evan's picking up for him. Tell me, tell me where Evan is. Evan, here. He owes you for doing this for him, Evan. Just saying. We have Isabella Jacobs. And we have a family member coming up for Isabella. For Thank you. We're going to make a little ring up here for all, everybody by the time we're through. All right, here we go. Julia Fisher. Excellent. Oh, the paper's coming off. All right. McKenna Falkenstein Barker. Come up for her. Yep, you get to hold the flowers. It'll be good for you. There you go. Natalie Nyquist. Here she comes. And we have Nick Rusko. Yay. Thank you, Jack. Jack. All right, now I love you guys, but I need you on a curve right in front of me here, okay? Thank you. Not you. We'll come back. <laughs> the people with flowers, stand in front of me. I want everybody to be able to look at you. There you go. They get to look at you. All right. So, sisters and brothers, and you're standing in the stead of some people up here. Your educational pursuits are important to your family here at Holy Cross. We are inspired by your toil and grateful for your spirit of hope. Receive these scholarship funds from your family at Holy Cross with our blessings and with our charge to use these funds to honor God in your own life and educational pursuits. Sisters and brothers, both your work and your rest are in God. So I'm about to ask you a question. Don't freeze. It's going to be okay. Will you endeavor to pattern your life on the Lord Jesus Christ in gratitude to God and in service to others as you carry out this mission and learning that you have been given to do? If so, say, I will, and I ask God to help me. So. Very good job. Let us pray. Creator God, you create the world and fill it with hope. Honor these individuals with the gift of learning and inspire them towards success. Honor this church as we strive to offer hope and inspire them to new ways of serving you, God. Amen. Okay, now this question is for everybody looking at you, recipients. Are you ready? You're on the spot now. People of God, I ask you, will you support these, your sisters and brothers, in their service? And will you share in the mutual ministry that Christ has given to all who are baptized? If so, say, we will and we ask God to help us. We will ask God to help us. Oh, good job, good job. One more little reading. From 1 Corinthians 4, let a man regard us in this manner as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. In this case, moreover, it is required of stewards that one be found trustworthy. May each of us be found trustworthy as we strive to be God, good stewards of God's bounty. Let us pray. Generous God, your own son taught being wise and careful stewards is a way of using God's gifts to bring life to others. Enrich each person touched today by these scholarships, whether they're receiving them or awarding them. May we each be inspired to make the world a better place, one gift at a time. Do not neglect to show hospitality, for by doing that some have entertained angels without knowing it. People of God, let us welcome these scholarship recipients in the name of Christ. Well, that was fun. All right, we finished with the blessing, which is my favorite thing. Um, we had the blessing on the board behind us, if you uh, if you want to look at the words uh, in another way. I would love it if you would stand for me. May I bless you, my friend. 
Life is short, and we do not have much time to gladden the hearts of those who travel with us. So be swift to love and make haste to be kind and go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Go in peace. Remember the poor. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 